guys, for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some ideas on how to style your dresses during the fall and winter. If you've been here a while, you know I don't give up my florals or any of my summer dresses during the colder weather. It's just a matter of choosing the right essentials to wear with the dresses and choosing the right accessories that will complement and just kind of put the final touches on the outfits. Floral dresses can be tricky sometimes, especially during the fall and winter season, but if you stick to deeper, moody colors and to the color pattern of the dress and kind of just select colors that are within the dress, you probably will be fine and you probably can't go wrong with something like that. I chose five of my favorite dresses that I love wearing during the summer and I'm gonna share with you just kind of the process of how I turn them into winter outfits. I'm gonna have the complete outfits down to the accessories linked down in my description box for you. Before I get started with this video, if you are new here to this channel, I share fashion and styling videos with you every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see more from me and you are enjoying this type of content, I do a lot of unboxing videos, lots of romantic fashion and styling. So if you are interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. And then I don't expect you to remember my uploading schedule. So if you click on that little notification bell on the side, that will just remind you every time I share a video with you. So for my first outfit, I'm going to take this black and white smocked midi dress. This is from uh, French Connection and it's a, a little bit of a lighter material. It's really good quality, but it's definitely made for warmer weather. So in order to turn this dress into a warmer outfit, first I took my gray crop sweater. Um, this one isn't necessarily like a very chunky knit heavy sweater, but it has like that fleece wool material that is very warm so I layered that on top of the dress and also something that I kept in mind since the dress does have a little bit of a puff sleeve I wanted to have a sweater that would kind of cover that and have enough room in the sleeves to kind of disguise that puff sleeve this crop sweater does have that puff sleeve and I felt like it hid that structure in the dress very well and it still gives me a nice flattering shape around my shoulders this dress has a front slit, so I could have gone for ankle boots and tights, but I decided to go for black over the knee boots. These ones um, are from Nordstrom, they're very comfortable. I love walking around them. They've got a little bit of a lower chunky heel, so it's very easy to walk around in. So for me, the black high knee boots really make this outfit a little bit more wearable. To finish off the look, I just included my black fedora hat. I included a hat because I, I really do need something to cover my head because it's so cold. I think the hat also makes it nice and trendy as well. For this second outfit, I took this pink ruffled dress. This is from Sister Jane. I love the pink, but sometimes pink can be really hard to wear. Um, I feel like pink is just very common during warmer weather, but I love bringing it into the colder weather. It's a thicker material, it's really good quality, so this actually would be a really great transition dress from summer to fall. But in order to make this a little bit more wearable during cold weather, I took my black polka dot tights. These are from Sheer Text, they're very sturdy. I've had these for over a year and they haven't ripped. Like they're really good high quality tights, I highly recommend them. As far as shoes, I took these black angle boots that I just recently got from Nordstrom. I love the dressier look and I think it really goes well with all the ruffles in the dress. I think this one definitely calls for something a little bit more dressy and I think adding the glossy boot in there really turns this into a very preppy, girly, feminine outfit. And then to finish off the look to make it perfect for the winter, I added in my black fur collared coat. I love this coat because I don't have to give up any warmth for this outfit to be stylish and fun to wear. So for my third outfit, I have this light cotton dress that I love wearing. It's extremely comfortable. And this one, I really have to build up the layers in order for it to be wearable for cold weather. It's got the short puff sleeves and it has so much delicate detail on it. I didn't really want to cover up that detail because I could just throw a sweater on top of it, like a pullover sweater, but then I would be covering up all those pretty details. I decided to go for an oversized wool cardigan. I felt like the wool cardigan allowed me to keep the detail in the dress, but it also keeps me warm. I love wearing the thick knit socks with this dress because first they keep me very warm and I also think that it gives it more of a country vintage look. 
And then as far as shoes, I chose these brown lace-up shoes. And the shoes I felt really completed the look. They still keep me warm, but they give it that feminine, romantic country look that I love. next outfit I have this white ruffly floral dress and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video florals can be a little difficult to style during the fall and winter because a lot of people just associate florals with spring and summer. In order to turn this dress into a little bit more of a wearable outfit for me I just took a black turtleneck and wore it underneath this dress. This dress does have lots of ruffles on it so there is some weight to it but in order to kind of layer it up a little bit more I wore black tights underneath it that just kind of adds to my warmth and then I finished off the look with the black dressy angle boots again because I just I love how the black kind of play together in this outfit there really isn't any black in this floral dress and I would typically recommend like pulling colors from the dress but I feel like black is something that you really can pair with most florals so I just decided to go with that and I really liked how the look turned out it actually came to me last minute I was gonna wear this black turtleneck with a different dress but I felt like this one was definitely my style I really love the finished look of this one but if I were to go outside I would definitely layer it up with like a teddy coat for this last outfit I'm taking a puff sleeve floral mini dress and this is where I'm going to kind of show you how I pull the colors from the dress to really layer it up and make it appropriate for colder weather. So if you look at the dress you can see there's lots of like beige, there's a little bit of a darker brown, lots of green. So I have this beige waffle knit cardigan that is so comfortable and I love it because it's soft. It's not a super heavy cardigan, but it does keep me warm. The material is really good. So I took that cardigan and layered it with the dress. And this one also, I wanted to mention, it's easy for me to slip those puff sleeves in because this dress does have a little bit more of dramatic puff sleeves and that can be a problem sometimes when I'm trying to find a sweater that will complement and not make it look like I've added like like 10 pounds to my shoulders. Since this is a mini dress and it's cold out, I would not wear ankle boots with this one, even though I could wear tights. So I decided to go for brown knee-high boots because that will give me the most warmth and it's still pulling those beige brown colors from the dress. And then to finish off the look, I added in this beige and other stories beret hat and I really love it. I love this hat. It actually keeps me very warm. It does a lot for me and I think it gives it such a finished polished look. In the different shades of colors is one of my favorite ways to kind of like layer up my dresses and make the outfits wearable for winter. A definitely a more simple way to approach it. You can always layer up with as many essentials as you want. I have a really comfortable pair of leggings that I wear underneath dresses if I really need to add some more layers. I just don't like stuffing my dresses in my closet because I love them. I love wearing them. I just have to keep in mind that I need to pull the right colors. I need to wear boots. I need to layer up with essentials and wear hats and like hat wear and scarves if I can. I hope this video was helpful for you. I really enjoyed sharing with you some of the ways that I wear my summer dresses during the fall and winter. You also let me know if you have any of your favorite dresses that you love wearing and how you wear them. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.